It's now time for On Point, where we speak to experts to delve deeper into some of the key issues in the spotlight right now. Just as Top Gun Maverick became a box office hit in the world this year, in real life there was also a huge milestone in fighter jet development right here in South Korea. This makes South Korea the eighth country to have its own supersonic fighter jet, the KF-21, just 21 years after it jumped into fighter jet development. So what does this mean for South Korea's defense system going forward? We have Shin Sang-jun, professor of aerospace engineering at Seoul National University with us today. Good morning. Good morning. First, of course, much of the information on the jet is confidential, but as an engineer, realistically speaking, where does this jet stand among other recent generation fighters out there? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, KF-21 uh, was originally developed as a 4.5 generation fighter jet uh, because uh, in general, uh, the fifth generation of a jet fighter should install the full uh, capability for that stairs and high uh, and uh, the avionics equipment and high the survivability and the, the, the maneuverability. In fact, KF-21 uh, was uh, very superior to the fourth the generation fighter jet, including the AES-8 radar and multifunction display and all those the avionics uh, equipment and capability. But it is inefficient in terms of the stairs capability. Then it was categorized as 4.5 uh, generation jet uh, fighter aircraft. Um, Three more. Uh, yeah. And Professor, um, well, this was obviously a very expensive project. And well, when you raise the issue of cost effectiveness, people say that importing jets might have been cheaper than developing the country's own. So why is it important to have this domestic technology and know-how in order to build fighter jets? Well, as you said, uh, in the first, uh, in terms of the mature price and uh, the cost, uh, Develop, the developing of, of our own uh, jet fighter will be much more expensive. But in the long run, in the long run, including the the, the operating cost and all those the logistics, uh, it will be much more cheaper. Right, and it seems like South Korean fighter jet pilots always win awards at air shows abroad because of their flight skills, and we saw this happen uh, just a couple weeks ago as well. Would this model fit? fit even better for South Korean pilots. Is there anything specifically Korean about this jet that you would say distinguishes it from other imported fighter jets? Right. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, uh, it installs many highlighted uh, avionics equipment such as uh, AESA radar, which means the active electro electro uh, electronically uh, scanning array radar and it will achieve more than 20 targets at the same time. And its radar cross-section is quite, quite small, uh, even though it does not uh, uh, propose the, the fully uh, capability of fifth generation, the stairs, uh, jet fighter aircraft. But it, it will install many aspects of this stairs capability. And uh, in terms of the, the sensor and the equipment, it installs many integrated uh, uh, display and uh, avionics system. And it will install many different uh, combinations of the weapons, including missiles and air refueling. So it is much more, much, much more capable. And while the general understanding is that the KF-21 is still years away from being um, commercially available, but once it is, though, uh, I believe that there are already some export markets that um, are highly interested in the KF-21. So how do you see the prospects there? Well, uh, well in terms of the price, again, uh, as I mentioned before, it will be uh, more expensive uh, when you uh, design your own aircraft just the, the, the high expensive the, the jet fighter aircraft, but it will be much, much easier to install uh, the many free combination of missiles and weapons, such as air to air missile, air to surface missile, air to ship missile. So it will be, uh, it will be enable us to develop our own integrated national defense weapon system. 
And ultimately, it will uh, replace all those the mid class just by the aircraft that the South Korea, such as the F4 aircraft, F5 aircraft, and ultimately F16 aircraft. F35 will be a you know, high class uh, jet fighter, so it will be something different. So it will uh, decrease the, the, the all those the direct operating costs, and it will ultimately add the benefits of the nation. How long do you think it will take until the KF21 goes into actual deployment? Right. Uh, Colonel Lawson has started uh, in 2015, and uh, this year, 2002, when he, they completed the, the first flight. And this flight path will be extended until 2026, uh, including uh, 2200 uh, 20, uh, flight paths. And uh, in the year of 2026, uh, the first full uh, the, the deployable aircraft will be delivered to the, the Korean Air Force. And it will be uh, finished in 2032. Yeah. Right, right. I still have a long way to go, but it, it's still very uh, interesting and exciting to hear about the news of the progress. Thank you so much for your analysis. We look forward to speaking to you again.